Hello and welcome back to Moonring. Uh, we're gonna be trying again to make our, our way back to Yarrow. It's a it's a long journey, and so it's it's gonna take a while. Uh, so north is Yarrow. We'll we'll do combat where we can. Wow. I got oh, we had an unknown device, huh? Dang. Okay. Uh, this uh. Let's see if we can't escape this nasty business you'll see that like the mist or whatever the fog kind of like rotates a little bit around the map you can kind of uh, see a pattern in how it does okay so this is northeast is yarrow farm okay so i think i just got turned around a little bit hence why i ended up in like probably the most vicious part of the world did not intend to go there. I basically did the equivalent of going to the catacombs, you know? Okay, we got some badger meat. Can I... I'm gonna put that on... Can we put this, like, two? And then, um... Where's our newly acquired badger meat? Hedgehogs, we got badger meat. And then berries will be four. And we're just gonna, like, eat those occasionally. Like, eat, oh, I guess it just removes us. It removes it from our hot bar. That's a bummer. Oh well, um, we'll figure things out. Okay, so this is Yarrow Farm, so we're gonna go ahead and hang out here. But there's a herb here, never mind. Give me a second. Leave. And we'll go enter here, and we're gonna try again on that dungeon. We'll see if maybe we can uh, make a bit more progress. I, I think we have better chops now. At least we have better equipment, and we certainly have better stats. Put our sneak on we'll get our sneak on and we will venture into the dark and the, the dungeon is still our the old version oh yeah we stepped in the webbing that's my bad we're still slow still slow all right skitter skitter i'm pretty sure that's the shiny bug yeah it is shiny bug is a pain in the butt yeah you're gonna like our our poise completely gone immediately Uh, I really kind of hate this creature, to be honest. Yeah, like instantly dead, even with our improved stats. So, I mean, I can make moves to av avoid them, but you now, now you know why I, um, you know, tried so hard to, like, leave them in the first place. We'll go ahead and refill our lamp. That's actually good. But yeah, now that we've died, um, the dungeon is completely regenerated. Maybe a good thing, honestly. We'll go ahead and sneak, put sneak back on, and, uh, oh, there's a... There do be bugs hiding in amongst these skeletons. Skittering. Hopefully, hopefully it's not that shiny bug. The shiny bug, it just must be avoided at all costs. But there's still plenty of, uh, dungeon left for us to exploit. We got the large key. Uh, we're supposed to be collecting a rock down here, by the way, in case you forgot. Um, it was like basically the first quotation marks quest we were given. I say quotation marks because like there really so far hasn't really been a lot of questing. Ow. Get out of here. You'll notice that, yeah, creatures, they do sneak up on you. They like to sneak as well. You are not, sneaking is not an exclusive trait of yourself. Caught them unaware. Got the got the drop on them. But yeah, the fact that there is almost always a guaranteed like shiny bug in this dungeon and it can just completely destroy you. Uh maybe there's a maybe maybe there's a way for me to defeat it. Um you can certainly let me know in the comments, but I will have likely moved on um from them a few times. By the time you do, let me know. I'm just going to turn off um, stealth mode for the time being because that area is pretty well explored and uh, not much for us to check out. And it's really slow to stealth everywhere. There's a little bit of a delay between each input that makes stealthing around um, like you, you kind of have to earn it, you know? 
Okay, that's a shortcut. We can open up that door. Is there anything over here? Nope. The worst part about the shiny bug is it generally hides. And so you don't know where it is until it's already attacking you and already knows where you are. And so you're like really at a disadvantage. Oh, there's like nothing over here, huh? All right, we are we're just kind of roaming around. We're taking things slow. No pun intended. I mean, we're getting slowed by some webbing. Uh, seems like that shortcut up up there is a long way to go. Really don't want to wake up. Ah, uh, it's fine. We still got the drop on them, even if uh, we did technically wake them up. Like I say, it's kind of a dice roll every single time you the you know you move and your square is like got monsters inside of it oh we got a freebie freebie potion it might be that we just need to grind against this dungeon a little a few times like i've gotten some nice stuff now it might be good for me to just leave and that way we don't risk losing it all from some silly mistake so let's let's go ahead and do that We'll set it. We'll leave. We'll set a checkpoint. We can enter back in. I don't think we'll lose anything. Um, and we can continue exploring. Extraction. That's that. It finally, I finally remembered three episodes in what I was trying to say two episodes ago. We got some water. I for, kind of forgot that there was water. Is it? Do you have to keep your character watered? What is that? Moldy fruit. Okay. Useful. We opened some kind of door somewhere. I don't know where. I'm like holding the button down right now and this is how- that's how fast you move when you're stealthing. At like max speed. There, oh, there's a door over there. I wonder if that door is now open. It must be because there's nothing over here. Oops. Oh, wow. Ouch. Yeah, that... Uh, that bug really got the drop on me, but that's okay. Uh, they didn't do any actual lasting damage. Okay, let's, let's see. Uh, avoiding... The web. I bet you this door is now open to us. Yeah, unlocked. Got some money. I'm very nervous that we're going to encounter that stupid bug. Smash. There's new things over here. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, they, they got they got the better part of that. Yes. I managed to manipulate them into the webbing. Oh, damn it, now we're cornered. That's fine. We managed to, to get them. You found strange copper key. Oh, this could be it. I'm seeing skitter to our southeast. I really I'm worried that that is the nasty bug that is just going to demolish us. So I'm going to try and avoid them. I wouldn't mind actually like accomplishing something. Ow. Arnott's Panacea, huh? 
I don't think I, I can't really kill this thing unless it's right next to me. So I'm just gonna stray away. Seeing more stuff to our south. Ugh. What did we get? We got a. We got a. Hmm. We got something from that wolf. Okay, so that's just a normal bug. That's good. Hold on. Oh, I was. There we go. Hoping to get the drop on that bug. I know that bloody bug is around here. The 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 light one. But I'm trying to make progress here. And maybe we can we can see something new. Black eyed stone. The stone looks like the one your father spoke of in the note. Perhaps Calera will know something about it. There we go. Okay, so if we can just make it out of here alive, then I'll have actually accomplished something. Beaten a dungeon. I guess that white bug is really there to teach us something important about the game, which is that you cannot always defeat things. Sometimes you're going to have to avoid combat in order to uh, make it through this game. And it's a valuable lesson learned, I think. Okay, I'm trying to make my way to the stairs and we did it. We got out. Awesome. Let's talk to Calera about that stone. We'll see if we uh, can learn something about it. Turn sneak off because I really don't want to be moving like that everywhere. Hey, Calera. Where did you get that stone? Topic discussed dreamless goddess. Oh, yeah. Cool. The keywords are at the top there. Your father must have left it for you. There is an engraving. Keeper of the Serpent's Eye. I wonder what that could mean. Serpent's Eye. Perhaps the priests of Moon upon Thoth know what it means. They are wiser than I. What about father? Poor Karim. A kind soul through and through. We must keep the farm neutral. It was important to both of us. Okay. Neutral. Well, Karim and I are both dreamed of the angels. Karim and I both dreamed of the angels, but... That has nothing to do with our work here. Um, I think I recalled something about the serpent's eye. Perhaps it, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, father was, I'm sure you missed them too. Always be wary of Amber. Oh, it, did he die to Amber? The mist will drive you mad and the beast hides. Let us not speak of such terrible things. If you survive seeing them, poor Karim. Okay, so our father died to a beast in the in the amber mists. Shoot. Well, that sucks. But I'll make my way in the world and I will uh, achieve where, um, you know, father failed, I guess. I don't know how, you know, we won't go in the mist. That's, that's what we're not going to do. Wow, we're taking a lot of damage from like little tiny bats. That was oh, just. What do you mean I'm dead? What do you mean? How was I taking so much damage? Killed by blood loss. I guess I. Wow. I can't believe I survived the dungeon and got like murked by bats of all things. They got like, they surrounded me and got just like every critical hit. That was, that was a nightmare. That's fine. Whatever. We're, we're, we're not going to dwell on it. We got some good stuff this time around. Making our way to Moon Upon Thos. Well, I was trying to be a bit better there. This, they really tried to run away, but I managed to get the better half of that. We really need a bow. I've got so much. Um, I've got so many arrows. 
Let's go ahead and eat some badger meat. All right, let's uh, let's talk to some priests. See what they know about the stone. Probably this guy, Serpent's Eye, right? Some conversation topics are hidden and do not autocomplete because they have not come up in conversation. For example, here you should specifically ask about the Serpent's Eye. Try it now by typing it in. Serpent's Eye. Serpent's Eye, I'm afraid it is not familiar. But then I have not been here for very long. Perhaps you should look for my predecessor. Yes, their name was Nevin. I am afraid they became quite addled some time ago and now reside as a shell in the ruined quarter. If you see them, speak their name. It may help. Shell. It is terrible to see those who were great lose their minds, but it happens. Um, I can't remember what, um, the other thing they were saying, predecessor, ruined quarter, it is in the northwest of the city. Good luck on your search. Okay. So it is here in the northwest. Didn't even realize there was a dungeon here, to be honest. Is this it? The Archon's Heart? I haven't actually been here. There's lots to explore here, actually. This is quite a lot. That's locked. Guard quarters. Okay, so this is this is not it. All right, over here, no. Over here, maybe. No. Nope. Uh, this is starting to look like a, a ruined quarter. This definitely feels a little bit ruined. You are vulnerable. Oh, hello. There's Nevin. Who am I, Nevin? I, I was he in better days before I knew better. I was the priest of balance. Here? Yes, here. This was my city too. Um, balance. I am, no, that is not right. Uh, better. I wish it would show the, like, topics mentioned, not necessarily discussed. New. I, too much. More than a person can hold. I wish I did not. Not all truths should see the light. Truths. This world is wrong. They alter our minds. They make us docile. Even the serpents could not stop them. I cannot speak of them, not while their moons are in the sky. No, they will hear. I shall be gone too. Moons. Are they truly five? Are there truly five? Are you so sure? Ha. Roche is still alive. Roche knows. The last of the serpents. These in Barrow Lynn know of him. Those in Barrow Lynn. Okay. Aha, a god to those living in the canyons. Ask of him there. Roche. Uh, serpents. The serpent's eye. Doomed. But you bear their emblem, so perhaps there is hope? Hope. They asked me to join them. A farmer, a thief, and a hunter. Were there more? They knew they had suspicions. The moons. Not all is good in this world. Uh, serpents... I. 
The serpent's eye. I thought I typed that in. Serpent's eye. You see a flicker of recognition in the old priest's eyes, but it passes swiftly, leaving them too lost to respond. Um, new. I too much. Okay. Uh, truths. Just want to make sure I exhaust, like, all of us. They alter our minds. Um, hope. Farmer. Okay. Farmer, thief, and hunter. From Yarrow. Had a child, too. I guess I. that is me. Oh, that is why you have the stone. Poor thing. Thief. From Harrodus, sick of the life. They got him in the marshes. Farmer, thief, and uh, what was the last one? See, I, I keep forgetting. Um, hope. Hunter, okay. Hunter. Killed by Slethen. Slethen? In the forests? Fool. All should beware that beast. Um, okay. Can we talk about Slethen? A nasty beast, all fire and fangs. Uh, Roche. Berlin know, know of him. A god to those living in the canyons. Ask of him there. Barrow Lynn. Okay. So I must venture to Barrow Lynn. Doesn't the um, ship go to Barrow Lynn? Shipwright asks, what may I do for you? Buy a ship title, apparently, for 142,000? Good lord. We'll sell our, our chitin. Um, sell our scraps of fur. Would like to buy... Get another Rosetta, but I don't think that that's going to be obtainable for us right now. Okay, so where do you go? Yeah, travel to Barrow Lynn for 123 guineas. Sure. I don't know if maybe we're jumping the gun here a little bit, but we have the money and we have the motivation. So we may as well. So this says north is Barrow Lynn, south is Ferryport. Okay. Uh, we've got a, I guess, an elite bat. So that is potentially bad. Also, we've got like a lot of fire here. Okay. Area clear. want to collect all the meat and stuff here. This place is a little bit different. Let's go to... You completed a devotional task. Visit the Lords of Dust hometown. Your actions please the Lord of Dust. Rewards to devotion. Interesting. Okay, so if we complete their task, then we will get devotion um, in their line. Okay. Lay a powerful poison trap for the unwary. See that which surrounds you, regardless of walls, including all traps and secret doors. Unleash bloodstones. These ruby red crystals explode on contact with any creature or weapon. The resulting shards will cause bleeding to all whom they strike, including the caster. Convert a fraction of all status effects into health. Interesting. Um... Ruby red crystals explode on contact with any creature or weapon. The resulting shards will cause bleeding to all whom strike, including the caster. Okay, uh, sounds a bit dicey. Kind of like the idea of this trap, to be honest. 
Uh, let's let's try this. This seems like an actual like weapon that I can use. I like to visit the ancestors every so often. I find the presence of their bones calming. What do you know of the serpents? Okay. What do you know of Roche? Roche? Long dead by now, surely. Uh, what about the ancestors then? The great ossuary? It is where we store the remains of those who come be came before us. You should visit them. They would like that, I think. Hard to tell, though. They aren't very chatty. Okay. This is a guard. What is this? Refill lamp. Pharaoh Lin's pros prosperity. Next upgrade at 15,000. You have 900. How much do you want to offer Dusk? Lords of the Dust. Uh, giving 2,500 will absolve you of all sin against this god. Interesting. We have the grocer. Let's go and find this ossuary. Ooh, this guy looks official. Welcome to the dusty halls of Barrow Lin. Do you seek wisdom from the ancients? Sure. The lords of dust, although they prefer divine gifts to direct action, such as uh, the way of the five, is it not? Um... Divine gifts. Each gift helps us travel the world more safely. That way we can return to share our wisdom. Wisdom. All Cal Calderans live amongst the bones of the Sibaroon Empire. We should be fools. We should be fools not to learn from their wisdom or their works. Okay, works. The common folk view their machines as magical. Okay, magical. But here we embrace reason. Artifacts are not magical. We merely lack knowledge of their methods of creation. No need to add superstition to an already complex problem. Okay. Um, we did this. Ancients of Sibarun. They are long gone, but their works remain. They lived in the light of a sun. Isn't that extraordinary? Oh, we ha apparently do not have a sun in our world. Is that why the world feels so dark in some ways? Okay, what do you know about um, serpents? What do you know about Roche? Th uh, Thartius Roche, a great hero to our people. If not for their work with Amber, we would all be dead. Are you one of those who think Roche still lives? Roche still lives. Still lives. I see. Ha! That would be a trick. Roche died over 190 years ago. Still, I do hear reports from our wanderers. Apparently there is a peculiar amber activity on the, an island northwest of the Red Grove. Northwest of the Red Grove. Some claim to have seen Roche's shade there. Okay. Northwest of the Red Grove. Oh, an oil man's work is never done. The thrash will... Oh, I don't know why I work. I'm applying this voice to everyone now. But the Amber Bane be what we need. Oh, Amberites on us shall feed. Okay. Well, don't know what else we could garner from here. Um, we do kind of have a mission now. Occultist, what may I do for you? Buy... Oh, you'll sell a Rosetta, huh? Kind of... That's decent. You are wet. Uh, food there. This is a... What are you? Iron monger. You'll sell iron ingots, silver wolf hide, thrasher gland, common trade item. Prized by smiths throughout Caldera. I mean, I'll, I guess I'll buy this. And I could buy some silver wolf hide, I suppose. But I don't know why. 
highly valued for the amber bane oil that may be extracted from it. I wish I understood better how to craft in this game. It's not something you easily learn, it seems. Armor. Um, maybe we can get some better armor. Woolen cloak, wet leather helmet. Offers less everything. Leather armor. Armor is uh, going to decrease our stealth to a point where we basically can't stealth anymore. Okay, well, I, uh, it doesn't seem like there's anything I can buy there for now. Barman, uh, I don't need to talk to the barman. Well, maybe I do. I, I don't know. Maybe I do need to talk to the barman. Town opinion for 10 guineas. Eh. Oh, maybe we can buy a new weapon from this place. Arrow, bolt, bright pin. A spike of writhing moonlight set into a brass handle. It seems wondrous to look at, but you know it. You know it to be a surprisingly common Sibiroon artifact. Mechanical crossbow capable of sending a bolt through the toughest of hides. That'd be really nice. I would love to actually have a ranged weapon. Wonder if like I should buy a cell sword. They say for like an hour it costs 25. I don't know how long an hour is. But I imagine that would like be pretty quick. Ooh, there's some kindling there. So I will uh I'll do a little roam around in this area. Cause you know we're here now. We may as well uh check out the area. Lesser ruins. I don't know how awful it is here, but so far it doesn't seem too bad. Oh, there's our herb. Bone nectar. Let's see what we let's see. Let's let's gauge the danger. Okay, we got clicks and whirs, so that's not bad. I can t totally hang a. Uh, Handle clicks and whirs. Wow, we did really well there, actually. They broke through our poise. These guys are actually, like, in my opinion, the worst. Because they don't really give you much chance to recover. I should try my new ability. Let's give it a go. Two. And then it auto targets the enemy, which is nice. Invalid target. Use cursor key, left click to commit. Oh, wow. Ow! Uh, I guess it exploded. And now I am bleeding. Um, I think I do have a bandage. Didn't I pick up a bandage at one point? Did I die after I picked up that bandage? It's starting to feel like it. Yeah, I don't think I have a bandage, which means I'm probably going to die. Value to the holder alters greatly based on circumstances. That's funny. Um, well, I'm just gonna have to wait it out and then, uh, hopefully... I mean, I can use a potion to... I wonder if this will, like, recover me completely. Nope, I'm still bleeding. That sucks. Okay, I gotta be really careful with that spell. Can potentially do more damage to me than someone else. So, like, if I throw it down here... Okay, 
So yeah, you gotta you gotta be very picky choosy about where you place it. Um, I notice it has a I guess it has like a time limit. Um, but if a da if an enemy damages it, then it you know it just like gets destroyed. Um, and then it you know does its thing right away. But uh, it shoots out things at all sides. I don't seem to have... Oh, I do have mana. Okay, I don't know... How do I, like, question something or know what something does? Not sure. But I seem to have some, like, god points up here. Okay, there's actually quite a bit going on up here. Oh, god. Um... Yeah, we need 40 points in order to use this spell. And I, I do have that now. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw this down here. And then hopefully the bat will block the attack. I swear to God, did I just take it? Yep. God damn it. Oh, that's really... So far, that spell is hurting me far more than it is anyone else. Um, let's use a camp kit. I only have nine kindling. God damn, it takes a long time to get enough kindling. All right, well, I'm going to have to use an another potion of healing. And we'll just have to wait it out. It sucks. Uh, I'm going to save this dungeon for the next episode and we'll end it here. If you are enjoying this series, definitely hit the like button, consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.